Ah, you smell that, little Rim Rims? That unbelievably fishy smell is the stench of all seven seas unified under Cadmiral... Ca ca oh, no. <laughs> ca Captain Admiral Bucko Drink. I'm not taking the line again. Because our good friends from the wealthy landowners have delivered Balgruff the Butcher. And even though we are fully allied with Balgruff's faction, even though we spent a small fortune converting and sending gifts to Balgruff's Vikings, they still won't follow Bucko Drink. And the reason for that is very simple, of course. Balgruff Pirate Spain. The faction leader herself holding off on the Bucko worship. So we're going to show her that it would be the right thing to do. It would be the right thing to do to follow Bucko. And believe it or not, that's made them quite angry. Oh dear. They will conduct periodic raids on your ports and convoys. I would like to see them try. Gotta get Mr. Cringe to dump a shitload of gold back on them and everything's back to normal. There you are. Problem solved. You're probably thinking, boy, 1,800 gold given away just like that. That's gotta be almost all of Bucko's gold supply. We've got another... 3,000 in the base, and God knows how much at Cat's butt. I haven't checked there for a long, long time. Hello. We've got another 8,000 in Cat's butt. <laughs> well, I did a few things between episodes while I was waiting for them to complete that warrant for us. I wanted to hit the ground running today, so I wanted to wait for that to actually go through first. In the background, I reorganized Bucko's vault. It looks a lot nicer now. I installed the pyramid, because there's something about having an entire pyramid in your vault that's uh, very, very premium. I say that as a Rim Rim uh, collector and as a British person. Oh, secondly as well, I realized that the shiny gold coin floor just makes it shiny gold. But if you swap over to shiny treasure, it costs like five plunder per tile more. So it's, it's basically nothing, no extra cost. It gives you a bunch of gems. <laughs> Who doesn't love jewels? One other thing, but I can't remember what. Right, I got it. The bio sculptor room. I took the old fortress, smoothed it out a little bit, made the rooms a bit more of a sensible shape. We finished uh, a little bit of research in the background there too. The, the space uh, learning desks. We're pirates. We're not going to sit all day in a school. I'm not going to have everybody learning. But it's important for the young ones, like Rummy Bongwater, who is only 14 and should still be in school. Even though she doesn't really need to be in school, admittedly. We've also built a bunch of bio... What are they called? Bio sculptors? Scalping coffers, as they're called with pirate speak, even though that makes no sense. Now, I play with the overloaded bio sculptor mod, because I think it's a very necessary evil. Exponentially more food you stuff into it, the faster it will go. And it still takes a bloody long time. Say, for example, one of your best fighters has, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six different injuries it's still gonna take forever to get her back to normal it's gonna take two days to cure one of those random things so we're still talking like almost an entire month just to cure all of that stuff that's wrong with her that's with a thousand percent food level bear in mind we're in the middle of uh some sort of eldritch end times here where the sun's gone out we can't afford to be dropping a thousand food per go a thousand percent extra food per go on these cycles simultaneously unless we get some healer mechs it's the only way butch is actually going to survive i can't put her on the front lines knowing that she's about to die any second and i would never if you ignore the last five episodes to be fair we do have quite the stockpile don't we should we just go full send <laughs> oh my god two thousand percent faster speed but for 95 new i think it's five nutrition as a baseline so this is monstrously expensive it's like 20 times the food don't worry about it 20 times the food for 20 times the speed that's reasonable i think gotta bear in mind along with butch we've also got to heal poor sweet master cringe Al again unless we get those healer max serums there's no way to solve his brain problems i give him a new brain, to be fair. One other thing that happened, and I accidentally closed off the notification, and that pop-up there kind of sums it up. Felix the Charm Weaver immediately got into a relationship with Tide Bubble, and then immediately married Tide Bubble. It took maybe a couple of days. Yeah, look at that. Ten days after getting into a relationship, or less than nine days after getting into a relationship, they started getting married, which is impressive, because Helix has only been here for about 15 days. Hello there, cats, but I'll be taking that gold now. If you don't. Can he even take this much gold, or is he going to sink the galleon in his, in his greed? Uh, oh, yeah, you're more than fine. Thank you. Yeah, give me all of that shit. Thank you. Thank you, Cat's Butt. Much obliged. Really makes you think, how much are they actually mining and keeping them for themselves? They're living the life of luxury over there. I think I've ever had this much gold before. What, a, what an appropriate series. Where, where is it all? It doesn't look very impressive on the floor. Before I put Butch in for another cycle, let's just give her a new leg. What have we got? Have we got a clockwork leg? Because that's Arco take. I think you deserve it at this point, Butch. You've been through hell. Uh, many, many, many times. Take you out of hell, we glue you back together, then you end up in hell again. It's a, it's a horrible time to be butch. Oh, on the subject of that, someone said, why not take the shield belt and why not reinforce the hell out of it and give her uh, the, the shield belt of hopes and dreams? And you know what? I think it's time we bring the equipment reinforcers to the forefront. Listen, I said we're keeping the bees to a minimum, okay? Listen, listen, listen. I stand by my word. Destroy the bees. Destroy them. I have my golden bees. The rest will be destroyed. I get him. Like, finish the 
Finish the fucking job though, eh? Hey, like, like, fin kill, destroy the bees. Like, like, finish the job. Please. There's so many bees. Look how many fucking people are in my port. They're everywhere. Hello, how you doing? Please spend some money. Gamble. Oh, my servers. Oh, my servers. Please spend some money. Buy some things. Sell some things. They're absolutely everywhere. What are you doing? You're having lunch at my very fancy bar near the ideology room? That's fine. Welcome. Please, for God's sake, stop. As soon as we've got one gold queen, that's it. The one gold queen will make other gold bees, and then we just fill up the rest of the hives with that, and we are set. Golden, because we don't, because we really need more gold. Really, I'm just quite desperate for a little bit more gold. <laughs> Come on. Cringe. Cringe. Nice! Legend. I was actually going to... Minus 9.3%. I was actually going to hit her with the turn, but you know what? We're good. So, in theory, we release Balgruff. This should be it. This should be it. And then we've got ourselves another alliance. Go. Get out. Get out of my base. Live your goddamn life. And any time now. Ideology conversion. The sea serpents have converted to your ideology. Bucko's way for one and all. They don't have a faction leader anymore. Oh, dear. Ah, uh, don't worry about it too much. I mean, it's, it's Captain Helix who's in our who's in our realm, okay? We're not going to take a faction leader from all of them, right? Just Captain Helix. Uh, the rest can keep theirs because otherwise it can have game-breaking consequences, which I only realized after I've done it. <clears throat> Which is why that mod won't be going public. Just don't worry about it, okay? Yeah, basically, what it will do is prevent them from raiding you. If, as long as there are allies, it doesn't matter. So, in theory, no problem, okay? In theory, no problem. Everything's fine. Now, all we need is, like, one more person from the Forsaken Corporation. And I think we are set. It's just the Pilgrims at that point. Forsaken Corporation. Hello. Oh, that's the faction leader. We're not going to kidnap him. Curse Pirates. There we are. Rack Ruta Cosman. Hello. Rack Ruta Cosman. Um... Yeah, whatever. Get kidnapped. I don't care. Reason? Uh, clearly, you're a filthy murderer. You're, I'm sure you've probably killed someone at some point. And if you haven't, I'll find someone for you to kill. And then I have more reason to imprison you. Boom. Because we're not trying to kidnap a faction leader, that'll be done much, much quicker. Could I have put down 30,000 and done it instantly? Yeah, probably. But we've still got to send Mr. Cringe out there to go give them some more bloody treasure to cheer them up. Oh, hello there. Jules, flaming Plank, and String. I know all of those words, but in that order, that makes no sense. Oh, it's a, it's a fire bow. Some of these are really a fucking stretch, aren't they? My God. That's a good point. Do we have enough glitter ball medicine for all of these? Oh, yeah. No, we're good. We've been getting cringe to buy them wherever it goes. So, I mean, it makes sense that we've stacked up a shitload. We've got more than almost every other type of medicine. Except for the salve and the industrial medicine. Every other type. I promise. I promise. Before I send cringe off again on another journey, on another adventure, I will cure the brain damage. We will get Mr. Cringe as God intended. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Thrown overboard, hopefully. The other thing I've done is I've actually given Bongwater her hat. She's had it for quite a long time now. It's just obviously they don't show up on the, the colonist box. I've got it disabled. Although maybe now it's the time. Boom. Wow. It really does change the whole feeling of the colony, doesn't it? When you do something like that. My God. You know what? I like the samurai helmet. Not only because, of course, Bucko once had a samurai helmet. Hence why it was called Space Pirate Captain Samurai Bucko Drink. It looks a little bit like a face mask, like what a doctor would wear. Because she is a doctor. Maybe the best doctor we're ever going to see in this game forever. This can be Bongwater's office, you know? This can be her office where she oversees all of this space attack pirate stuff. Bucko doesn't understand it. He's a simple man. He's not going to understand what the hell's going on here. All he knows is his people come in, and thanks to Bongwater's help and some fancy machinery, they come out better than ever. Mr. Cringe stops dribbling all over the place. Here you are! You're very welcome, my friends. You're very welcome. See you later. Does this mean we're going to cancel the warrant on your person? Uh, of course. Yeah, of course we will. Don't worry. A group of dart when abandoned or lost have wandered in. Uh, hello there. Hello. You're a hungry little guy, aren't you? Hello. Metal Big Bertha's plank and string. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck any of this means anymore. I feel like the pirate speak has gotten worse and worse over the course of the playthrough. Oh! Well, this is good. How's Butch doing these days? How you looking? You've got two gunshot wounds and a scratch scar. She's back up to 26 health. She could still be one shot. Theoretically. Have we got enough food to be filling this up again? Uh, 2,500 maize, 1,500 carrots. Yeah, I mean, we could probably get by with one more. Honestly, I think Mr. Cringe should probably also take... Oh, we've already filled that one. Oh, bollocks. Well, these things happen, don't they? Master Cringe, in you get, my pal. Yeah, hang on, we just had an eclipse. The fucking thing's gone. The, the, the uh, Eldritch Entity flew away. I didn't even bloody notice. Eldritch Entity flew away, and then we got ourselves... A, d a dark young. Which I think, honestly, I'm probably just going to ignore. Let it live its life. Oh, yeah, there it is. Second of Jugast. The long night is ending. 
Good. That means we can get all of this in the fucking bin. And then I can expand all my farms to a lovely size and stuff as many bioscopter pods with as much shit as I want to. Mr. Cringe's brain will be fixed one carrot at a time. I should probably give him a new arm, a new leg, a new foot. Otherwise, that'll scar that too. Or I'll remove the scars on that as well. Very annoying. Um, uh, Butch, did you get your upgrade? Butch is good. Okay, so why don't we sink the rest into uh, um, Master Cringe himself. So you can have a leg. That solves two of them. And then a new arm. That's pretty much all it needs, actually. Give him a clockwork eye, a clockwork arm, and a clockwork leg. Now, because they are Arco Tech, you've got to remember Arco limbs in law don't look any different to regular plain old body parts. You wouldn't even know they're there. They're that advanced. So Mr. Cringe just looks like a regular cool dude with a monocle. <laughs> Which undoes all the coolness. Base is loaded with... Who's visiting us? Oh, it's our Viking friends. They've come to visit. Hello. You better be paying for those beds, you fucks. Balgraf and... Oh, actual Balgraf is here. Sharing a bed with, I presume, her husband there. Balgraf, Balgraf. There you are. Hello. Oh, I'm so glad you've come back. Hello. That's so nice. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Can the place out as a friend this time. Because they believe in Bucko's way. This is another one of Bucko's fleets. This is one of Bucko's captains. They, they answer to him now. Maybe they're here on business. Maybe they're here on pleasure. It doesn't matter as long as they're spending money, ultimately. Oh, and these are actually earning like a good amount of cash now. Not a massive amount. But one machine has earned a good amount of cash. The rest aren't very good. Eyes from your grave. Boy, I hope it cures your brain scar first. And then Butch, you've got to go back in again, my friend. I did that say reserved by Snake Slayer. What was Snake Slayer? Were you filling up with meals? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Because I've, I've set a very limited area the guests can go into, right? But they do help with work, so I can only assume... Oh, maybe they were taking it from the freezer. Either way, maybe we should stop. I'm, I'm running a little bit low on the whole food front. Well, I suppose now that the sun's back on, we couldn't hurt going a little bit harder on things. Want to build some lavish meals? How can we call ourselves an admiral with two fleets under him now, with Captain Helix and Balgraf under his command? If we haven't got, you know what? Go. All in. Captain's feast. All this wealth and we're still eating just an average salad. Absolutely not. They are filling up, you bitches. I didn't give you permission to come in here. Hold on, let's kick him out. Right, no guest it. That's... What? Are you telling me it didn't auto assign to the... Oh, to the bloody guest area. Oh, I think I've got to set defaults, haven't I? My bad. There you are. Problem solved. Yeah, you can entertain them. I've got uh, Captain Helix on entertaining, if I'm not mistaken. There you go. Because Captain Helix is a charm weaver. They're very, very sexy and very intentionally designed to be, uh, you know, good entertainers, so to speak. But now, Balgraf's here cooking meals. <laughs> you really have subjugated them well there, bucko. Great work, pal. The charm weaver is, in fact, charming the guests. I cannot believe that this has worked. I'm a little bit in awe that Captain Bucko actually has these people working for us now. Amazing. Oh, my God. Hello. Uh, somewhere amid all of this rum is, and the cannoneer's armor, is Mr. Cringe. Was that actually, oh, my God, that was actually the one we wanted to cure. Look at that. He's back up to 80%. My boy's almost back. And Butch. Butch is back, too. Our old gunshot wound has been solved. Look at that. 33 out of 40. Oh, my God. Nothing bad is ever going to happen to you again, my friend. Nothing bad is ever going to happen again. Nutrition not loaded. Can I not load nutrition? Uh, we're, out, we're out of food. That can't be right. Uh, nope, that's correct. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, I knew it was going to be expensive. Oh, look at your little wings. That's not going to carry you anywhere with that war casket. I mean, this... Maybe I want a little bit hard. Okay, maybe I want a little bit too extreme on trying to cure my people. But can you blame me? Master Cringe has been a drooling idiot who's been held up by the fact that he's so goddamn attractive the entire time. But he's brains and looks, okay? And I want to I take it back to the person he was. Butch is one of our best fighters with that Zeus hammer she's got. She was like one good shot off of dying pretty much non-stop. Could make an argument, okay, Butch doesn't need another go. She's got a scratch guard on the torso. It's a pretty big scratch guard, but 33 out of 40 is good enough. Mr. Cringe, though, brain damage and his head scarred and his torso scarred. I think we've got, to, we've got to solve this. Your brain is the most important aspect. Bucko, me boy. Uh, I'm working on a set of lovely golden lungs and a new golden arm for Bucko. We do plan on, of course, Operation uh, Solid Golden Bucko one day. But we haven't got to rush into it. We'll just replace things naturally as they come up. Does anybody else need... Oh, Sire also needs to go in a pod. Oh. I'll just chuck her in. That's only 100% of that will take the, the full 21 days. I don't think I can justify it. It's just too bloody long. Maybe we shouldn't go up to 2,000%. Maybe just 1,000% is good enough. Butch isn't at risk of dying, so I don't need to go so hard on it anymore. There you are. There you are. And you know what? Mr. Cringe could get in just like that. 
That's okay. 1,250. That's good. There you go. Go on, fella. In you get. 1.4 days. That's good enough to solve a brain damage. That's more than fine. We don't, we don't need to do it because otherwise it would be, what, 21 hours? That's so fast. We don't need to worry about that. Master Cringe, complete the healer cycle and the cut scar was cured. Oh, he's almost back. 90%. You'll be there, my boy. And now it's also time for a marriage. I didn't catch whose marriage it was. I was too concerned with Master Cringe. Tide Bubble and Captain Helix, you've known each other for a month. <laughs> Who am I to stand in the way of a mermaid boy and his enormous charm weaver war casket husband? I, it's just it's just life. It's just life here on Pirate Island. This is by far the most unhinged marriage we've ever had in this game. Captain Helix and Tide Bubble have a brief spat over the lack of attention. Tide, Tide Bubble stared off into Oh, maybe trouble in paradise. Wedding's off to a great start, isn't it? My god. There you go. Have have some grog. Have some rum. Cheat yourselves up. We've got grog and rum. Like, just like hanging around in here somewhere, I hope. Where's all the rum gone? There, there's the rum. You got plenty. Oh, I'm sorry. Is uh, 78 bottles not enough for your marriage? Arcotech research data. I didn't even know that was a thing. Jesus, that must be wrecked. I think that's the first one I've seen. We need to buy a lot more fancy gadgetry if we want a solid gold bucko drink. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, we also need a little food. Deep fried fish. Delicious. Give me those gourmet desserts too. It's not exactly a healthy lunch, but it'll have to do right now. I'm also going to buy a Mystic Oracle for Captain Helix, given that they're a very, very good social character. I think that would help out quite a little bit, especially when Mr. Cringe is off on his long voyages. Oh, and speaking of cringe, my God, that came out of nowhere. That scared the life out of me. Fine bakes. Fine grills. Ruined. I don't want your secondhand crappy grills. What's wrong with you? I wanted to try and sell them some bees, but nobody wants to buy my bees. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't think of a more Mr. Cringe moment than going up to a colony with a handful of bees and demanding to know why they won't buy it off of him. Pilgrims have completed your warrant. Hello. 4,000 silver well bought. Now, bear in mind, the second we imprison them, it's going to make them very, very angry again. So I'm going to have to go over there with more fucking gold as per. Where are you putting them? Just put them down. Oh, you didn't even capture them, you moron. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, hold on. I'm not paying for that. Very carefully batter them with the hammer. Very carefully. Oh, cringe. Not now. For God's sake. Give me your food. Carefully batters. Nice. <gasps> we lost 50 just for attacking their member like that. Holy crap. This is going to piss him off, so I'll have to take more gold. But that's okay. I remember how it works now. Okay, I remember how it works. There you go. Problem solved. Maybe Mr. Cringe could pop over. How much stuff did I send you with? Give them bees? Maybe they want bees. Offer gifts. Yeah, let's just go straight over there. He's supposed to be bringing back food, okay? But you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be patient. You gotta be patient. This is obviously a much higher priority. Starving to death or making more allies? It's pretty obvious. Marco wants a fleet. Starving to death be damned. Did you just make gold? Oh, no. You made bees, though. Hey. Hello there. You won't even take my bees for free. What is so wrong with my bees? Fine, take my gold. Fuck off. Here. Hang on. I should have been giving them silver all along. Why have I been giving them my treasure? Those fuckers. They don't deserve this. Um, I've got to give them, like, a shitload, though. Here. Just see it off. There you go. Bang. Obviously, releasing them will give them some benefit anyway, but I'm making sure. I am making sure that it is locked in this time. I know I want you damn bees either. I don't want your bees either. Dump them in the ocean. Oh, I took my golden bees with me. No. Those are supposed to be in the hives. Lexi is being attacked by a Mega Mantis. Relations with the pilgrims have changed. Don't blame me because your person was eaten by an enormous mantis. How the hell is that my fault? But yeah, let's go spend a week on the island with the enormous mantises. Ah, an enormous mantis. Fucking idiots. Shut up. Shut up. What happened to my, um, am brandy in the end? I wonder if it genuinely finished and then someone just drank it. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping I would catch it when it turned legendary, but I think it's already, it's probably long been drunk. The second it came out the vat, it was straight down Bucko's gullet. Master Cringe the Onion Smuggler is back. Come on, the people are starving, Cringe, and you've been pissing off messing around with silver again. What do you mean those are your orders from the Admiral? Yeah, look at him sweeping over to get some food. Absolutely swooping over here to get some snacks. Mmm, delicious. Can we open these boxes? I mean, don't get me wrong, they're good. Uh, they, they look good in the vault. It's just there could be anything in there. What sort of pirate would I be if I'm able to resist the call of a, a lovely box? What does that do? I open Pandora's box and I don't think anything happened. Let's try it again. Okay. I mean, it makes a horrible screaming noise, but as far as I can tell, there were no negative consequences. This is where we go back to the world map and the planet is cracked in half. Scarless fruit. We've had one before. It gives scarless and major cell instability. No. I'm okay, thank you. I was going to say we'll give that to Bucko, but I'm glad we didn't. Dreadlocks fruit? Seems a bit of a waste of a fruit slot, to be honest with you. Stun? Surely you've already got that. You haven't? Okay, well, Mr. Cringe's collection of all the base game side cast grows again. 6 to 12%. Oh, and another golden leg for Bucko. 
Holy shit. In fact, that's probably both golden legs. I think I queued up two. This is a beautiful day. This is a beautiful day for this beautiful, solid gold man. Give him everything. Just, um, out of curiosity, how do I specifically say give him the golden stuff, though? Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Let me just forbid the rest. That should do it. That should be fine. So we've got two lungs, a mechanical leg, and a mechanical arm. I guess you didn't finish the other mechanical leg, but that's fine. These things happen. Boom, 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 boom. Let's warm medicine, state-of-the-art hospital, minus the vitals, monitors, and 37 healing. You're not going to fail these. I think it would be actually impossible to fail them at this point, even though you're wearing a fucking eye patch, which reduces your side down by 50% for no reason. Maybe let's take that off there. <laughs> Thank you. Let's try again. Oh, no, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We do have another leg. Hold on a second. You know why? It's because I gave him another leg earlier so that he... You remember I swapped out his crappy peg legs. He was so slow for a regular mechanical leg. Now we're going to swap that out. That's fine. That's 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 how that works. Yes. Uh, and then we're going to swap that out for a new mechanical leg. There it is. Okay, perfect. Uh, in theory. There it is. Golden leg. <laughs> Makes absolutely no difference. Doesn't do a damn thing. What do you want? You want some prisons. No, thank you. We're okay. We've got to focus on my own prisoners right now. Boom. Mechanical arm. Uh, sorry. Oh, we've got a golden arm. Two golden arms. Two golden lungs. We should have two golden lungs. A golden heart. And two legs. Let's throw in that other golden lung before I forget. And there you are. Perfect. He breathes gold. His heart beats for gold. He touches gold and he walks on gold. <gasps> Master Cringe turned Ruta to his own ideology. Ruta was convinced and changed ideology. Release. 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 Send them off. Send them off. Goodbye, Ruta. Thank you for being here, my friend. Get out. Piss off. Goodbye. 7 out of 15. Fuck! I thought we'd... <laughs> I thought we'd already dealt with the Forsaken Corporation. Ah! Ah! Listen, I can't remember these things. Listen, I can't remember these things. I was away yesterday because of the doctors. That's going to be happening quite frequently. You're going to get fucking used to that, okay? And now you're telling me I didn't even recruit. Ugh! We've got to get them to raid me then. Can't I just ring them up and call them a bunch of fuckheads? Hey, y'all little gas mask wearing pricks. Get them, get them called. Get them called. Get them insult. Invite for a visit. Invite for a visit just in, in prison mall. <gasps> that is piracy. I like that. Now, is there anything else suitable for a treasure-laden pirate captain? A sapphire spine, a diamond vigor augment, and a... Oh, ruby arm is good. I give that to Sire. I think that's a good look for her. Well, she doesn't really need it. She's full of clockwork shit already. It seems a bit pointless. Okay, let's give him the sapphire... Oh, do we want solid gold bucko? Which is cooler? Solid gold bucko or, like, have some gems in there as well? I think throw some gems in. I think throw a couple of gems in here and there. I think that's fine. Is that a vigor augment and a... Spine made of gems. Treasure doesn't just mean gold. Come on now. Real treasure includes all this other crazy shit as well. Diamond Vigor Augment. Why can't you install that one? What's going on there, huh? Um, missing one Vigor Augment. Oh, because Sai just put it back on a shelf. Thank you for being very intrusive there. Treasure can take many forms. Diamonds, gemstones, precious jewelry, whatever it happens to be. This is beautiful. Uh, what have you got there? You've got an iron belly. Let's swap that out. And then we need another diamond kidney, if you can. <laughs> the only thing capable enough of keeping up with the... Keeping up with the incredible amount of rum. We have enough diamonds for a diamond kidney. It's 25 meta. We've got enough. We're all good. We're actually all good. And then what did, what did I say we needed for the other thing? Oh, I can't... Even, I can't... I just can't even remember anymore. We haven't got any sapphires. We haven't got any rubies. Can I set the mining camping cat's butt to... Realistically... Ah, oh, I was going to say mine some gems, because realistically, we've got a lot of gold, which, to be fair, we do. Less than we had earlier, so maybe we should rebuild it. Yes, yes. So unnecessary. But my god, we're almost there. Diamond kidney, golden eye, golden beauty weaver, golden nose, golden belly. What does it do? Nothing. It changes nothing. But it's incredible. Give him that. Uh, the, the augment? Did I actually make a golden augment? Uh, see, we've got a lot of stuff, and I've got to be careful I don't install, like, common basic stuff into Beautiful Bucko. Uh, we do, we do have a golden tourniquet armament. Oh, this is good. This is good. It's so unnecessary, but that's why it's so good. What miasma kidney have you got right now? You only give him one lung? Oh, no, he's got two lungs. We're good. We've got that diamond kidney for... Was it a vigor augment again? Yes, it was. There we are. There's another one. Vitality augment. Thank you. Vitality augment. Get this man stuffed. Yes, look at him go. 
Oh, look at him go. I've taken out the Arco Tech Eye and replaced it with one of solid gold, because obviously you... Oh! Obviously you would. Bong water! What happened? Starving. You put an eye patch back on, you dick! Hey! Oh, my beautiful boy, what have they done to you? <laughs> oh, he was gonna be so perfect in every way, and now you've ruined him. You've ruined my sweet boy. Are you seriously gonna get lunch while your admiral is bleeding out? No, 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 no. Take that fucking eye patch off and do not put it back on. I see the problem. I did accidentally make the, uh, the, uh, my asthma kitty instead of the vigor augment. Yeah, that's just a plastic one. Boo, we don't want that shit. Mix, mix and match is totally fine. One helps with immunity, the other helps with pollution. That makes perfect sense. Boom. He's a man of many talents, this bucko drink. Now the golden belly. The golden belly for my golden captain. Beautiful boy. Beautiful sweet boy. Is there anything I can do for you? We can put him in a pod to remove that gunshot wound. My god, I don't think there's much else I can do here. Two treasury lungs, two treasury arms. He's got the sapphire spine, the golden belly, the golden heart, diamond kidneys, and golden legs. He's got one golden eye. We should really drop that eye patch off of him now then, huh? Maybe we wear the eye patch, and then he flips it up, and then you see he's got a golden eye. Oh, I like that. That's intimidating. Realistically, is there anything else I can fill him with at this point? The passion augment. Obviously, we need a golden uh, dangus for my golden bucko. Oh, and of course, solid golden skin. This is, uh, this is a uh, stone skin gland, and the stone in this case is gold. Ah, oh, tribute for their golden captain. 36 viper metal. It's not massive, but I will take it. They, of course, paid for their beds, too, which is helping out with our tremendous amount of silver. It's a good day to be Bucko's robot wife, sire. A solid gold dongus for Admiral Bucko. Amazing. Have I gone too far? Absolutely, I have. Yes. Bucko's not the only one. Something, something, something getting stuffed with gold. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, my friends from the Forsaken Corporation. How are we going to go about this? We've got, to, we've got to kidnap them without causing some sort of big international drama. Let's bring the people together. Let's bring the people together and then slowly... We need to capture, what was it, seven? Eight. Eight in total. Oh, God, this is going to be a mess, isn't it? This is going to burn the whole base down. We're going to pay for our crimes, but you know what? God damn it, they will worship Barco. Watch this, watch this. I can immediately get four. I can immediately just grab four as long as they play chess for a little bit longer. Here we are, here we are, here we are. Right, pause, and then we go... Arrest, 100%. Arrest, 100%. Arrest, 100%. Arrest, 99%. Bang. Okay, see, now that didn't go as planned, did it? That did not go as planned, and Bucko's immediately followed it up with a shot across the bow. Right, we've got one. One of eight ticked off. Melee characters. Slice him to bits. Send him, send him, send him. Lock him down, lock him down. Do not kill them. Do not kill them. What's this? The Curse Crew are turning up. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We don't need that. We don't need that. Oh, my God. We've just killed two fucking more. Oh, you penises. Oh, you fucking dickheads. Oh, you morons. No, they're going to ruin my plans. Don't do this. Don't do this. And please, for God's sake, try not to kill anyone for fuck's sake. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him captured. Get him captured. Move them on. Move them on. Move on with your life. Get them captured. Move them on with their lives. Oh, my bar. My bar. You fucking idiots. Melee attack them. Got careful, careful. Ca get him sent. Get him sent. Get him sent home. Get him sent home. Stop firing. Healing. This series is never going to end. Fuck me. You can kidnap the lot. Just fuck, uh, fuck them. Honestly, just fuck them. Just kidnap the fucking lot at this point. Bring them all to me. I don't give a shit anymore. I'm up my limits. I am on my limits now. That's it. No more Bucko spending his money. You are going to worship Bucko whether you like it or not. Blew up my bar. I blew up my bar and what have I got to go show for it? Four out of the eight people I need. Unbelievable. I'm not taking any chance with these warrants. Okay, I'll put four warrants out here. 20,000 big ones. The last fucking warrant I took out on somebody, they just dumped them on the spaceport and they were walking away. I'm not doing it. Your friends will be turned into the tastiest, finest rum. We might not yet have pirate dominion over the seven seas. We've got half of them, goddammit. We've got the sea serpents. We've got the curse crew. We have golden bucko drink. It needs golden armor and a golden hat. And maybe a golden cannon. Because that would make it a lot easier to reinforce. That's big brain time. And he has a golden boat. That's right, my friends. Bucko has received a gift from uh, Captain Sarge Bjornsson. is is very good, uh, very popular, very famous friend for making such mods as the Joris Experience. And nothing else really noteworthy. <laughs> a golden vessel for my golden friend, Little Bucko Drink. 
A good time, I think. Ko's patience is wearing thin. Do you know how much treasure is put on the line for this and It's still not happening, so no more. This is it. We are getting these goddamn people and the privateers are next. This whole world will be buckos. It will be blue from east coast to west. We should probably wipe out the queens, but maybe make allies with the other people too. But I'm, I, I, I'm, I don't know if I'm brave enough for politics, okay? As long as he's got the pirates, Bucko will be content. Control of the seven up the one, one big C. We don't need land lobbers. Who cares about the land lobbers as long as nobody is up against him? And besides, we're going to need people to steal from. So maybe we keep some of the queens, men, so they've actually going to, uh, they'll provide us with some treasure. That would be quite nice of them. Thank you for joining Golden Bucko and his golden adventures here today. That took years off my life i thought everything was going to be fine the trade caravan would turn up we put them in prison we get all the people we need then they fight back then our allies turn up it's just one ridiculous pirate mess after another who could have guessed that the most well-laid plans of a bunch of constantly very drunk pirates might not come to fruition thank you to methanius commander crint mutable as blafocus 666 kende hajdu vladriax Iron Bull, Dranmere, Blackfield, Anti-001, Scott Layton, Cooper, Sucumber, Killer Starling 6, Grebe, An Apple in Solitude, Harpio, or Kansas the Robotic, Ethox, Couch, Eckley, A Lethal Space Duck Who is Cashless, Knight of Sorin, Ember the Kobold, Hoofenspiel, and Biblically Accurate Femboy for their support. The executive producer is over on Patreon. Thank you for being here and joining me in Stress Town. I've really got to use that reinforcer. I keep forgetting about it. To be fair, we haven't really got any steel to reinforce anything with, so I need to make something out of gold first. And Bucko has been the top priority, but tomorrow, tomorrow, solid gold cannon for my boy. Thank you as well to Stephen Collins, The Last Archangel, Ash and Soul, Jackson, Joe, Herman, Hogholt, Daniel Bauman, Sobelow, Llama Lords, Wolfie, Generally Mean Says Stupid, Christine, Koob, Paul Talamort, and Emmy the Ewok as well. Mm, goodbye.